Should you buy drilled and slotted rotors whenever it's time to replace your brakes? Let's talk about that right now. This is one of the disc brakes off my son's 2012 uh, Chevy Camaro. Uh, it's time to replace it. It's been sitting out in the weather just a little bit, which is why it's got some surface rust on it. Uh, but these were pretty solid rotors. They could have been turned, uh, but he decided to go ahead and change them over to drilled and slotted rotors. Uh, so he got drilled and slotted rotors and he got some ceramic brake pads on his Camaro. It's pretty dark right now, so there's really nothing to see. Just I'll put a picture up of a drilled and slotted rotor. Let's talk about those two. So on a normal car, a lot of people think that getting a drilled and slotted rotor is going to be like this massive performance gain, right? Um, in the real world where cars actually drive, you're probably not going to see a whole lot of gains uh, by purchasing a drilled and slotted rotor. Uh, you're probably going to see more of a performance gain by purchasing ceramic pads, buying a good pad, and buying good rotors from a reputable company. Uh, that's really the main thing. Now, my son wanted drilled and slotted rotors, uh, mostly for a little bit of performance, but uh, I think mostly for looks. He liked how they looked, uh, and so we got those installed. There's literally no difference in installing drilled and slotted rotors versus regular rotors that come on your car. Uh, these that I just showed you, those are solid rotors. They're not drilled and slotted. Um, so why would you purchase those? Is it for aesthetic reasons? Is it for performance reasons? Well, it really depends on your vehicle and your use case, right? Uh, so for me, like on Silva, the Silverado, I am not going to be putting drilled and slotted rotors on that truck. I need the most surface on my rotors I can get just in case something goes squirrely with my trailer brakes. I want my brakes to have as much braking surface to grab a hold of as possible. I'm not going to be racing it. I'm not going to be having to dissipate a lot of heat really, really fast. Uh, so a regular rotor is perfect for me. I'm going to have the durable regular rotors on mine. But now if this truck was a street truck and say like a, a race truck, say we're taking it to the track and we're going to be doing short track racing with it, uh, kind of NASCAR craftsman truck style, I might need something like a drilled and slotted rotor to dissipate heat. In those kind of competitive situations, the most heat dissipation possible uh, from rapid braking is exactly what you need. So drilled and slotted rotors work great for that. Now, are there any problems with getting drilled and slotted rotors? Now, I, I hope you guys fact check me on this and uh, please let me know down in the comments, but I don't think you can turn a drilled and slotted rotor, uh, at least not the average shop. So you guys double check me on that, uh, but most of the time drilled and slotted rotors are once and done. So if you need to change your rotors again, you're not turning them, you're gonna be replacing them. I know a lot of people don't turn rotors anymore. They they just buy new rotors. I mean, they're relatively inexpensive. I think his whole kit together was less than $400 for all four of his rotors, drilled and slotted, and uh, uh, the front set and the rear set of uh, brakes. So there's there's really not a bad deal. 400 bucks and he's got all new brakes. Uh, but back in the day, we used to turn these things. And so th this would actually go on a machine and they would uh, basically machine a surface flat on these things and get them... Uh, stop them from being warped and that sort of thing so um, that's still an option some places still turn rotors uh, you have to be careful of the thickness of your rotor you need the, the rotor to be thick enough to actually be able to be turned and those things are those little measurements are all different from make to model so you got to do some research if you're going to try to turn these uh, you might save a few bucks but i think last time i checked it was about 15 or 20 dollars per rotor at a local shop in order to get them turned so you're still going to be spending a little bit of money. Overall, what do you think about drilled and slotted rotors? Do you think that there's a big advantage to having them? Do you like having them? Do you like the way they look? Do you actually get performance gains out of them by going to a drilled and slotted rotor? Let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you have a great day.